Chapter 4, Mina and Maya and the Mahabala Mystery This is the tale of two beautiful sisters on a mission to avenge their father's death. Wow, getting rough right from the start. The eldest is a dancer named uh, Maya, and her younger sister Mina is a fortune teller. Now, uh, like, really just gonna bump out all those Romani <laughs> stereotypes, I guess. And and as a heads up, this is, it is Romani, you said. Yeah, Romani, yes. Um, I don't know how to pronounce names from that, um, I... I would say Maya and Mina, but I may just, not be correct. Who knows? I'm, I'm trying with the Mina. I don't know if it's like a stressed E or if it's just yeah. it's supposed to be E with the I kind of idea. Their adventure begins in the entertainment capital of Libico Laissez-Faire. Sure is a lady up there. Yep. She's also your greatest spellcaster in this game. Doing a lot of spinning. Do you know any other dance moves? I guess that's enough. Fudge you guys, I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Naka, can you guess who Ogre's two favorite characters <laughs> in the entirety of Dragon Quest are? <laughs> Turns out it's Silvando and Tornico. I mean, Tornico's but pretty alright. I like Tornico. Silvando is great. You're not ready for Silvando yet. <laughs> As much as I would love for you to meet Silvando, you are not ready for him right now. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. <laughs> I, I quite fancy this chapter for f some obvious reasons. Cough, cough. A little too into the dancing, I guess. Okay, so accent-wise, it's French. The uh, the NPCs are French. Yes. The, Our the two, two main si characters are Indian. Indian. Cuz it turns out Romanis come from India. That's where they're that's where they originate from, but they pretty much assimilated into other I uh, to other parts of society and everything. Oh man, 100 gold coins. Cornico peeks around the corner going, you know, I could make that 150. <laughs> if you got me some steel broadswords, I can make a <laughs> bank off of it. I don't know why I went for that accent for Cornico. <laughs> He's supposed to be Irish. So basically, they've been looking out for this one guy and they want to kill him badly. And apparently, I guess he's supposed to be, like, somebody of importance in this country. Which is probably not saying you should really go around <laughs> saying stuff. Yeah. Stuff about. You know that real important guy? Fudge him. So that, and so and you start out right away with two people. Yeah. Because unlike pretty much every other chapter, even um, Alina's chapter, you explicitly played as Alina and the other two kind of joined you to help out. Yes. Whereas with this one, from the get-go, you are a pair. Yes. They are both the character. Yep, they are Mina and Maya Maha Mahabala. That's their last name, is Mahabala. Get out of the way, the door there? Uh, you're, there's something in here. Yeah, there's a medicinal herb in one of the pots. There's a lot to find in this town. Also, Mina is your is a good healer. Oh, I know. She's also kind of tanky. So, not, a, so a cleric. Yeah, ba she's a cleric, basically. She's not as tanky as one should be, but, you know, balancing for later on. I'm going to say Mina instead of, like, Minya. I'm gonna because Mina. they can put accents over other letters, and the N does not have an accent over it So in, what in her name. So I'm going to say Mina. Mina? Let's go with Mina. Um, like, if they wanted it to be Mina, they could have put an accent over that end. So it's Mina, she's your cleric. Maya is your <laughs> spellcaster, because she gets some good spells. So, armor shop. Got a hundred monies. Can't buy nothing. There is um, a silk robe. Okay, so we do have some... Okay, we have silk robes. There's a, no, there's a silk robe in the theater that we can get. Oh, I was just kind of comparing equipment, so I have some vague idea what we're... Yeah. Where we stand. We probably don't have any weapons. 
No, got a copper sword. So Maya, My, Maya, Maya doesn't have any. Yeah, Maya needs something. But everything Maya needs is expensive, which is probably why she doesn't have anything. Actually, it's surprising in the Dragon Quest Hero series, I think Maya actually has an Indian accent to her, and Mina sounds like she has almost a British ex accent to her. Hmm. It's hard to tell. I only listened to one thing for her. In what game? Dragon Quest Heroes. There's drag. M Maya shows up in Dragon Quest Heroes one and two, and Mina shows up in two. Hmm. Surprisingly, Mina, the only player character in the entirety of the series that I'm aware of, who actually has a meteor spell. <laughs> it's her tension. It's her special ability in that entire thing. Is she casts Starfall, which is meteors. And it's like, yeah. Surprisingly, it turns out they don't really do meteors a lot in this game. I think they kind of under the understanding that if a giant thing came down, it would probably be worse than killing the enemies. Hi, by the way. And then I'm gonna climb down a well. There is nothing down this well. I don't know, gotta check. Okay, so there's quite a lot in the theater area. Yeah, I've been at this point in most of the outside, but not in any buildings. Yeah, so there is... I don't want the other side or something. Stupid. Yeah, it's too short. There is... It says next to... Yeah, there's five gold in here. I got it! And there's a leather hat on the second floor in that other area. This is a poorly designed house. All right, if that's it for there. Yeah. Okay, so we can't, we can't go in the bar, and I think that's it for everything over there. Yeah, there's something in the inn. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah, she's on the run from something, and he's protecting her. Mm. She, like, she's getting out of, like, an abusive relationship or something, and he's trying to protect her from it. I got 20 monies. Presumably, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that was what you are looking for. Uh, there's... There's something in the bar, but we can't get there at night. It, this does suggest coming back at night time, so we'll get that anyway. And we are as close. So are you at the... Okay, that was the empty shop. Which, sadly, you think Tornico could buy, but no. Gonna buy all the empty shops. So the only things left are stuff in the theater. Okay, and then I went in there. I was in the theater, though. There, you can go back behind the stage. Oh, I never went back here. Break all your pots! A sea of strength. Oh, man. And you should get a silk robe in that one of these things. So you save yourself from having to buy a silk robe. Abbot du monde. Okay, I guess that's... Well, no, I can go in here. Oh, and then that's the actual theater. Oh. Says, in here, speak to everyone in town to learn about the missing pub worker, Blondel. Yep, I learned about that. Then sell the dancer's costume at the armor shop and equip the silk robe found earlier. Purchase a couple of headbands for the girls and a divine dagger for Maya. Okay, so, um... So what do we even got here that I gotta worry about? So we got a... You have no defense. Let's fix that. I start digging with it. It worked! 
Okay, so leather hat and silk rock. I could equip both of these. I think the hair bands will probably be better than this leather hat. Did you equip the? Who did you equip the silk robe? To? I gave. I have two. Oh, you have two. Yeah, the silk robe's your best armor at this point, I think. Yeah, we got two silk robes. So you can sell the wayfarer's globe and make the. I, I would double check that the hair bands get you in defense wise. Yeah, so that leather hat looks like that's the only other thing to worry about. And the leather hat, neither of us have anything equipped on the head, and that is gonna be two defense. So who's looking worse on the defense? We're the, we're the same. Really? Yep. Where's it say that? 12? 12, 12. 12. Well, Maya, I think. Go over to Maya. Actually, you have the same exact same room of resilience. Well, Maya's gonna be your squishier mage character. Okay, so give it to Maya. The headbands count as head equipment, that's why I'm saying that. Oh. Keep it on me now. Okay, so what do we got? I got Wayfarer's clothes I can sell. And the dancer's clothes. Surprisingly, the dancer's clothes go for a lot of money. Um, sell the dancer's clothes. You get 300. Oh, yeah, jeez. Because this is what happens with dancer's clothes. <sighs> now nah, I'm going to wash these. i got to wear them later. <laughs> okay, so worse. Good. That's right, I'm a dancer at night. You'll know about it. So yet. leather dress is better, but that's expensive as crap. Yeah. Uh, um, leather hat is good for Maya. What's but the that's, hair band? That's only 65. Hair band is just better. Yeah. So get two hair bands for her, and then get the divine dagger for Maya. Equip a hair band on both of them. And then I can sell the leather hat. Okay, so we're now good. Oh, we don't have... forget to use that seed of strength you have. Yeah. So we have the best arm, we have the best hat. Yeah. And the leather, leather... dress is the only yeah, thing we don't have that quite way. Quite expensive. But that's real expensive. So weapon-wise, what do we got weapon-wise? So we need a Divine Dagger for Maya. So that's worse. That's equipped. So Divine Dagger and Hunter's Bow. So Maya needs something for darn sure. Yeah. I only have enough money for the one weapon, so yeah, Divine Dagger for Maya. Man, why does Maya got jack all? Because she's a dancer. She needs to keep her body light for her dances. It doesn't mean you can't keep crap in a locker in back. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of guys who oogle, so it'd be nice to have something to go like, back I mean, especially if their goal is murder. Also, she can literally cast fireball, so. Yeah, I guess. Like, she can cast frizz. <laughs> she can cast frizz, so. Okay, so good as we're gonna go. Um... So, right now, we're going to just walk around town, get some levels up to level three, but when it becomes nighttime, we'll come back in. Alrighty. Show off a couple fights, see how these two ladies work. Oh, that's the music. That was the dancing music she was dancing to earlier. Ah. So, so yeah. what do we got? You can heal. Mina is your healer. And Maya is... And you can nuke. Yep, she can literally throw a small fire. Bomb. Or she could just cut a motherfucker. <laughs> So this is going to be kind of interesting, having effectively two mages. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a rough chapter, to be honest. I think at the start. Let me see if my, uh, Mia's. Yeah, get wrecked! Anything other than walking sticks around here, or, or is that just the standard, you're kind of chilling near town? Oh, new plat got a platypunk. Yeah, she kind of doesn't cap out well at resilience for Mina, so. Though I guess that makes sense. She's kind of a yeah, cleric. Correct. But she's not meant to be, like, a defensive cleric. Okay, we'll show off, like, one more fight. Maybe. See where we go from there. Oh, it's early morning, too. Yeah. 
you just We're gonna be up. out here forever. Well, you just woke up, so... Alright. Is everybody in a minute? <laughs> okay, we didn't quite hit level three, but we can go back into town, so we can go into the bar. Beer, 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 beer. <gasps> they say Mahabala was killed by his own student, Balzac. But why would anyone kill an alchemist? Because alchemy is the tool of the devil. Uh, second floor is where you need to go to get the item, but you can just toll around. Yeah, I want to talk to everybody. Uh, you're Mr. Mab... Ma... Mr. Mahabala's daughters, aren't you? How did this... How did this whole turning iron to gold thing work out, then? So this isn't an inn. I mean, I guess they're renting the place out. It's probably in that dresser drawer. Yeah, there's not exactly a lot here. There we go. Yay, an antidote. And then we go back to the inn. Uh, yeah, this is a bar. I guess it's where they're just like apartments or something. And then we go back to the inn. And we go back into that one room where the priest is currently asleep. E. Is it Blondell or is it something else? Mm hmm. I'm gonna go talk to her. Hey, you don't. Palace oh, it is Blondel. I didn't even bother looking at the name. Palace de Leon. A coup d'etat. The old king has been, has, has been murdered. The Marquis Regent. Regent. He's talking about something alchemy-wise. Hmm. Maybe our father had something more to do with this than we care to know about. But then why was he murdered over something like that? I guess I'll spend the night. He's literally in it. Well, you could go into the theater and see what's happening. Oh, is there stuff in the theater, maybe? Yeah. There's still dance girls there. Okay. Which is always fun, because... You... Yeah, he's talking to new acts. You can actually go around... No, 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 stop. You can actually go through the top right here. I mean, and, I know I can, but that's on the stage. stage. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I mean, there's nothing really a benefit here, but it's still, you can just watch a dance show if you want. Yeah. Right. Free to enter, apparently, or maybe they just let me in because they recognize me. I guess. I mean, if you stopped at the counter and talked to somebody, they said, like, oh, we know you, go on in. Okay, I'm not gonna bother talking to everybody in the audience here. Can you even? Okay, apparently yeah. you have. All right, y'all can shove it. I'm leaving. <laughs> I gotta go avenge my father's death. Wait, what? <laughs> Just storming out, dagger in hand. <laughs> Sister's got a sword. You got a <laughs> dagger. Okay, spend the night. We gotta go get our level. And then we gotta go wherever it is that we're going, which I don't actually know where we're going. The Abbot de Mund. It's a town to the north. Okay. Oh my god, it's just so much. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go in town and save. Mm hmm. What money do I have? I have 250 monies. Yeah, it's not enough to get a leather dress, I think. It's not enough to get a hunting bow either. I could get another Divine Dagger. That's up to you. That's only two points, I'm not gonna worry about it. Because there's no... Actually, how much do you have? Oh, like 220. Is it 220? Yeah. So pause it real quick, see what it is. 250. You can get a leather dress. You can't stay at the end, but you can get a leather dress. <laughs> I'll just stay at the end. I'll stay at the end, save. There are... Oh, that's stupid. The next town we go to, the only weapon they sell is chain sickles, and Maya and Mina can't equip it at all. Well, 
They sell leather dresses and feather caps, which they can't equip, so... I guess we're coming back down here to do all of our crap. Yeah. <laughs> you delay so much, because I know you're trying to make sure... I'm like, I gotta make sure I don't hit cancel. <laughs> I gotta make sure I don't hit cancel. Okay, so I know at this point, I can just mash confirm... Don't hold down! Continue, yes. I was holding down because I didn't want to talk to him. No, I can't do that. Okay, that's going to be the save that I load for him when we yeah. start recording next time. So here, we're just going to walk up to yeah, the next town. Go out. <laughs> Alright, okay. off to Abut de Mund. Got level 3, so we just got to hoof it. And it's way the crap up north. Yeah, we are at the very southern tip of this area. We have some money now, but not really enough to get us going. So... It's funny, you actually look at the map. Okay, that's it, a dead end. The continent looks like uh, South America. Oh. I'm gonna stab these platy punks. Freaking punks. And we see a sign will almost be there. A yeah. sign. To the north is Abu de Mund. I think they mentioned that the town just had a recent name change. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that town. We made it! Look at that town we made it to! And an inn. Man, this is a tiny town. Don't go up to that dock yet. Okay. Since we're ending the video. Yeah, you know what? Good time. Until next time, everybody. We're gonna spend our time wandering around this time and talking to everybody next time. Till then, everyone. <laughs>